Hai. Ini mau Aceh. Sakit mata. But you're fast like now. Yeah. Very so you no longer be communicating in English, but she. Mm -hmm, that's the plan. So, how is your day going, my dear? Oh, it's going well, though I'm at work. Um, babe? Yes? What about what we discussed earlier? What, what did we discuss? About us meeting. You're always forgetting. I forgot. See, baby, see, don't worry, okay? Very soon, okay? Very, very soon, but not now. You know how busy my work can be. I don't worry, okay? I promise you, when I'm free, I'm going to come immediately to Nigeria, okay? Mm -hmm. So I can finally see my baby, <laughs> my darling, my boo-boo, sugar boo, <laughs> my mama, my chow mama. Uh. <laughs> hey, I know you'll be laughing. <laughs> Where did you even hear that from? Trust me, I watch a lot of Nollywood movies, oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. Yeah, babe, I will have to go back to work. I'll talk to you later. All right, baby. My dog. What's it? My dog, Papa. Hmm? What does that mean? It means I love you. Oh. Me <laughs> too. I'm learning next time. Sorry. <laughs> I love you too. <coughs> <coughs> Some people were trying to talk in a low tone, but I still heard them. Shut up. Hmm. Mm. Seems your relationship with this your Ghana boy is getting serious. <laughs> we are not getting serious. We are in a serious relationship. And with the way everything is going, I think he might be the one. The one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, eh, it still marvels me how two people can just meet online and fall in love just like that. Why? But it happens all the time. People meet online fall in love, get married, and live happily ever after. Why does that surprise you? Well, I, I'm not surprised anyway. Well, for me, <laughs> I can't do that online mm -hmm. dating. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, you're lucky. I'm happy for you at least. Chi Bryce made is calling me, it's calling me, it's calling me. No, it's not calling you, my dear friend. <laughs> Hello, don't play with me. <laughs> It's my right. Mm. I'm your best friend. So don't even take it away from me. Mm. Oh, hello. That's it. <laughs> Can you go back to your office space? I'd like to go back to work. Thank you, Aproko. Are you just me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Aproko. Now you have it. You can leave. Bye. Samantha, is this how to greet your mother? Oh, sorry, mommy. Not a girl. <laughs> Good evening to the most amazing woman oh, in the whole world, the best mom, and the love of my life. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, mommy. How is work today? <sighs> the usual activities here and there. That's all. I can't wait. Thank you so much for making my favorite. I'm just going to change. Of course, so great. Hi. Watch. I'm fine. Yes, I'm just going for work. Babe, where is mom see now? Uh, she just stepped out. <laughs> Even though she has been asking of you lately. 
Oh, your mom's so sweet. <laughs> Hi. Just my mom. Am I not sweet? She because mom is now and that's why I give him the juice. <laughs> You'd have picked today of all days that she went out to visit. You would have tried one of her delicacies. You know she cooks very well. It's true, Shao. Mm -hmm. Bad for you. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> How is our Mr. Um You mean Kofi? Kofi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Kofi. Well, he is fine. We are fine. We are fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you're blushing. Mm -hmm. Cold when? When will somebody's son make me blush like my friend? Maybe you should start replying your messages. Maybe, just maybe you might get lucky and meet Mr. Right online. Just and like no me. Ones. Okay, single Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> no way, you didn't see that. But, <laughs> who is she? What, are you not saying anything about any... Can't you see your plantain is burning? Oh my God, no. I'm so sorry, I didn't even realize it was burning. I'm so sorry, babe. How could you? I'm sorry, baby. You won't believe what just happened. I got the plantain talking to you. My mom is so pissed right now. <laughs> this is okay. Oh my god. Um, what do I say? Oh, okay. Someone is definitely in love. <laughs> Oh, it's not what you think. How do you know what I think if it's not what I think? Mm -hmm. I'm your mother, Samantha. You can't fool me. <laughs> Tell me, who is he? Well, he's just a friend, Mom. Just a friend? Okay. Just a friend that made you burn my plantain and almost burns down the house. Okay, no. Just a friend who makes you stay up all night, chatting, laughing, and in fact, working like a ghost at the balcony. I see you, my darling. Should I say more? No, no, no need, Mom. It's fine. I'll tell you. Now you're talking. Well, maybe he is more than just a friend. Right. Tell me about him. I want to know this man that has stolen my daughter's heart. Where do I even start from? From the beginning, I don't want you to miss anything. Oh, oh yes. We... We met online. Really? Yes. Don't look at me that way. You know what you're thinking. He's really a very nice person. He lives in Ghana. We haven't met. But... I have a very strong feeling that he's a good person. I'm planning to meet very soon. He's from a reputable family. Yes, I got back a while ago. Work was good, but it was a bit stressful. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome, Mommy. Is he the one? Let me talk to him. Uh, babe, <laughs> my mom is sitting right in front of me and she's asking to speak to you. Is that okay? Oh, sure, sure, sure. I don't mind. I don't mind. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my son. How are you? Fine, ma. What about you, ma? I'm good. I've been wanting to speak to this young man that has stolen my daughter's heart. <laughs> yes. I'm... Do you mind telling me more about yourself? Where you're from? Your family? Where you live? With whom you live? What you do for a living? When you were born? Stop. Yes. Are you serious? Oh, this is so impressive. So you were saying that you were the best first-class graduating student of that year, and you already landed yourself a job in a multinational firm? I'm so impressed. You see, 
I, 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 I like when young men are hardworking and also intelligent. Not all these yahoo yahoo boys with anyway is the way attitude. They don't know that it's only hard work that pays. Samantha, how come you didn't tell me that this young man is so intelligent and hardworking at the same time? Uh, which young man, Mom? Kofi. Hey, baby. Kofi? Mom, what? you called him again? How many times now? I'm sure you have been bombarding with all those your numerous questions. <laughs> hey, trust me. I'm enjoying my conversation with your mom. Please help me tell her. Tell her so she will allow me have some time with my son-in-law. Son-in-law? No, my future son-in-law. Mom! Mm? Ah, anyway, I'm off to work. <laughs> I'm talking to have you. a nice day. Huh? Bye. Pay her no attention, please. Oh, goodness. This is so impressive. I'm so, so proud of you. I'm telling you, they are literally besties now. Like, she just calls him randomly and they're always jesting. Can you imagine? Sometimes she even calls him my son-in-law. It seems like he's enjoying their conversation together. Someone that is not even my fiancé yet. They're calling him my son-in-law. He hasn't even popped the question, so... <laughs> I get. But at least, the good part is your mom likes and accepts him for you. <laughs> the remaining ones... It's not a problem, only for him to just pop the question. And you guys are good to go, my friend. I know, right? But trust me, you needed to have seen her. You need to see her on the phone with him. She keeps asking random questions, even questions that are not even supposed to be asked, like, where did you go for your secondary school? Oh, your primary school. Oh, how old were you when you made your first step? Like, I'm not even asking these questions. My mom is embarrassing me. Your mom is a character. They all say they get better. The first time he said, Mama. <laughs> Your mom is really, really funny, I must say. I'm glad you're enjoying her company. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> the way she's going on and on about all this, one would think that we are already married. <laughs> Meanwhile, we are just dating. Like, what are the odds? I mean, she's too forward in calling you her son-in-law. Like, is it that funny? Like, as if we are married. <laughs> Let's get married. What? Wait, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, what did you say? Is this you proposing to me, babe? Yes, let's get married. We love each other, right? You love me already. And I would love you to be my wife. So tell me, dear, will you marry me? Mm. Mommy, thank you. This food is so delicious. I like it. <laughs> you see why I like coming when you're around? It's not like other people that will be giving me juice and water. <laughs> Enough, Esther. Eat your food. Enough of the communes. Just for food. Enjoy, please. Thank you, ma. So I'm planning to pack it now. <laughs> I'm leave it to people. <laughs> please, eat your food. That's what mothers do. Make mm -hmm. good meals for the family. Food is so delicious. I can't stop eating. Keep eating. You can go back to the kitchen if you want. Mm -hmm. I'll take the top plate. <laughs> Thank you, ma. You're yes, welcome. Ma. Uh, mm. Chi? Excuse me. Uh, mm, food is so nice. Mm. Sammy. Samantha, hmm? are you okay? Uh, not really. It's um, it's coffee. Coffee. Mhm. Mm what happened to him? Wait, wait. Don't tell me you guys are broken up. Uh, not really. Far from it. On the contrary. He asked me to marry him. What? What? I'm so happy for you. Oh my God. Finally. Hey. Oh my God. I can't wait. Why? You don't look excited. I am. I really am. 
But the thing is, I, I've been thinking about a lot of things ever since he popped the question. A lot of what? Esther, are you forgetting that I have not met this guy? I mean, I've not spent even one day with him. We haven't met one on one. What if he comes around and, and, and he's nothing I was expecting? Or, I don't know, do I even know him? Do we actually know this man? <laughs> Are you not the one that said you like online dating? Yes, I mean, I can have a relationship online, maybe casual relationship, I can get to know someone. But an online engagement, is that even a thing? There's no a real ring on my finger. I'm just so uncomfortable about it, that's all. You know what? I'm so happy I got married. All these things are talking on your own. What? Mm-hmm. Two bright men. I'm not gonna start marrying my clothes. I like online dating. Why are you changing your mind now? Nowhere. You go nowhere, I see. too busy to spend the weekend with the woman that you love. With the woman that you asked to be your wife. Come on, baby, it's not like that. God knows I really want to see you, dear. But... Uh... But what? Exactly. You don't even have any excuse to give me anymore. I even offered to come to Ghana, but you refused. See, dear. See, please be patient. Okay? I will be coming over to Nigeria very soon to see you. Well... Until then, then we cannot be more than what we are. And concerning what you asked the other time, my answer is no. Are you really saying no to my proposal? Um, Kofi, I'm sorry, but I have to go. I have, I have a lot of things to do. I'll maybe talk to you some other time. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hello, Kofi, my son. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Hope everything is good. I'm all right. How is your family? Please, I've been calling Samantha, but she hasn't been taking my calls. I hope everything is fine, ma. Yeah, Samantha, she's 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 all she's all right. She stepped out with her friends. Oh, okay, no problem. Please, in case she comes back, please try to call me back. All right then. How how is your family, Ghana, and everyone? Work? Everybody is fine in Ghana. Work is great. All right. Take care and goodbye. Talk to you some other time. Bye, Ma. Bye. Samantha, why didn't you want to talk to him? Nothing, Mom. Just nothing. What's going on? Mom, nothing. Thank you for covering up. I'll be in my room. Samantha, Samantha, I'm talking to you. What's going on? I think that's all you need, so I'll just for the copy this one. Okay. Um, babe, how is your Romeo? Oh, sorry, I mean coffee. Well, I don't know. Huh? What do you mean? Honestly, Esther, I am tired. I am tired of his constant excuse for us not to meet. Like, I've been complaining and it's no longer funny. So recently, I've been avoiding his calls. I've not spoken to him in a while. And I told him straight up that if he's not going to meet up with me, then I'm not going to accept his proposal. Like, how do I accept to marry someone I haven't even met? <sighs> you are right for doing that and very sensible. 
Well, why is he making this whole thing a big deal? It's, it's not just Ghana that is here. It's not like it's America or China that you need visa. It's not even a visa country. He's just a ticket away from Nigeria. Honestly, he's making it a big deal and I'm worried. <laughs> mm, let it not be what I'm thinking. So you're married? Married? Who told you that? Don't even think of lying to me, okay? Don't even think about it because I am not a fool. I am not one of those girls you can deceive. Where did you even? So why haven't you allowed me to come to Ghana to see you? Why? It's because of your wife, right? Samantha, it's not true. I get it now. If I come to Ghana, your wife will find out about us. And if you come to Nigeria, what lie will you tell your wife? What would you tell your wife you're coming to Nigeria to do? I'm sure the reason why you're not here is because you haven't found a perfect lie to tell her so you can come to Nigeria and see all your side chicks collectively. Men has come. Hey, enough! I'm not a married man. Stop imagining things that are, doesn't even exist. I, do, are you listening to yourself? Wait. Are you in any way insinuating that I am dumb? That I don't know what I'm talking about? Are you trying to gaslight me? Are you trying to emotionally blackmail me? Samantha, what are you talking about? <sighs> you know what? This relationship is over. It's obvious that we cannot work out at all. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I am no longer interested in you because we have nothing in common. We are from different worlds, different backgrounds. We are from different cultures, different countries. We have different beliefs, different ideology. I am coming to Nigeria. I am coming to Nigeria. What? You happy now? Um. Good. So finally, he decided to come to Nigeria. I'm happy for you, my friend. I found love. I'm a good man at that. <laughs> ah. Woo! Yeah, finally, just like he said, at last. <sighs> How far do you propose that? Will you accept me? Mm. Obviously, I will. But you know, I turned him down the other time. So for me to say yes, he will have to propose. The second time. Uh, I'm not even sure if he wants to do that since I rejected him. Why won't he do that? He's your friend. He must do it. And if you don't want to accept it, I will accept it on your behalf. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can leave. go back to your Apuko seat or you leave my office. Thank you. It's not fair. It's <laughs> white. <laughs> Be time you're chasing me away from your office. Don't worry, I will not come again. Don't you have any work to do? I don't. So, you're going to be in Nigeria tomorrow? Yes. Hmm. What time should I come and pick you up? No, you don't have to. Why? I don't want to stress you, so don't worry. I will be getting an Uber driver at the airport, okay? Oh, you started again. You started again with this, yo. You don't want to stress me. Am I complaining? No, baby. I know you are not complaining. It's okay. Send in your driver. Fine. You win. As always. Oh, come on, baby. Eh? That's not true. Anyway, I'm just too excited that you're coming at least. Don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Don't forget the beads and the hats. Yes, the beaded um, hats that I that you showed me. Okay. Then it's ready. Mom, yeah. do I look good? Do you think I should change? I feel like this is too casual. You look beautiful. Uh. Could that be him? I'm not sure. It was the Esther. She said that she's close by. Girl! <laughs> right on time. Sure. Mm -hmm. You're looking so fine. Thank you. Is he here? Not yet. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my darling. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. How is your family? They're all fine. How do I look? Uh, okay, make yourself comfortable. Let me just add some lip gloss. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking nervous. Of course. She's meeting the love of her life for the first time. Mm. The first time I met my husband, I couldn't stand on my two legs. Yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> God, when? Well. 
Es so gut geworden. Udema. Hi, Samantha. <laughs> this is a prank, right? <laughs> wow, I'm sure you helped him put this together. <laughs> so funny. Uh, I will be waiting outside. <laughs> what a grand entrance. <laughs> you can get up now. <laughs> Samantha, I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? Um, Mom! Esther, relax, he's just pranking us. Get up, mom and I made you a very delicious meal. Stand up, let's go and eat. Samantha, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I should have, I should have told you. You should have told me what? Just, what are you sorry for? Told me what? This is really getting annoying. Get up, please. Okay, we've been waiting for you all day. Samantha, I can't. You, you can't. Get up, please. Samantha, I can't stand up. I, I'm crippled. Oh, no. What? You what? Crippled. This, this, this can't be. No, no, you're not crippled. Why are you lying? You... Wait, this is not a prank. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Say something. I'm so sorry. You're sorry for what? I've seen your pictures. I've spoken to you so many times on video. I've seen your page. Is this not you? This is not your page. You're standing right in this picture. Say something. Samantha, I'm, I'm so sorry. Samantha, please let me. Mean. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is not a prank. Let me explain. Did you lie to me? Samantha. Stop. Excuse me, Sean Collie. Samantha. I don't know who that is, mommy. I don't know who he is. He deceived me to falling in love with him. He's a scum. He's a scum, a, a con artist. Please send him away. Call the police or something, please. Okay, let's just open the door. Let's talk about oh, it. That is so stupid. Stupid. Samantha, why are you always stupid? Falling with the wrong man all the damn time. Mommy, please, I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. Please, mommy, send him away. <laughs> Samantha, open, let's talk. No. Mommy, please send him away. I don't know who that is. That's not my coffee. I know what I'm saying. Please send him away. I don't want to see him. That is not my coffee. I don't know who that is, Mommy. Please send Samantha, him away. please, open up. Open, let's talk. No. Miss Incoli, please, how is she? Please, I, I she open the door. Please, I really want you to speak to her so that I can explain things. Please. Explain what? Tell me, what do you want to explain to her? How could you be that stupid? How could you do that to her? You kept a very important information away from her. How could you do that? That's very wicked of you. And to think that I, I, I trusted you. Already took you as a son. I don't, I don't even know what I was doing. I'm so disappointed in you. I, uh, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Ah, 
Ma, let me go and try and knock and see if Samantha will open the door and talk to me. It's yourself. You're so selfish. How could you do this to me? We've been together for over a year. You could not even trust me enough to tell me about your condition. At least let me be the one to decide if I want to be with a disabled man or not. You made me fall in love with an image of you that doesn't even exist. Baby, I'm hey! What did you just call me? Baby? I am not your baby. My name is Samantha. So Samantha, I'm still the same person. I'm still the coffee you'll fall in love with. I've not changed. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not my coffee. My coffee would never lie to me. He is not a liar. And he certainly doesn't look anything like you. I'm so sorry, dear. Please. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I, 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 I messed up. You know what? Coffee. There's no need for this. There's no need for this back and forth trying to emotionally blackmail me. I will not allow it. You and I, we cannot work. This relationship was built on deceit. You scammed me into this relationship and I do not want to have any part in it anymore. And one more thing. I want you gone. Start making plans to leave. Go back to your country because I don't want to see you here tomorrow morning. Samantha, please. Don't! Samantha. Please. Please help me. Please, I need your help. Please help me. Sammy, Junior was so shocked when I saw him. How could he hide such information from you? You see why I don't like this online dating? It's because of things like this. I don't know. What will you do now? There's nothing to do. There is just one option here. That is not a man I fell in love with. And I will not be blackmailed to be with a man that lied to me. He lied to me. I don't even know who that man is at this point. I don't. Listen, Esther. Everything that has to do with this relationship is over. I am out of it completely and I'm not going back. Hey. What are you still doing here? Samantha, can you please calm down? Hear me out. I don't want to hear whatever you have to say. I am not interested. Please leave my house now. I'm talking to you. Leave this moment now. He is going nowhere. What? I permitted him to stay. Mom, why would you do that? Samantha, I understand how you feel. I understand your anger. But. Just give him a chance to explain himself, okay? Mom, 
I am not interested in whatever he has to say. I have said that so many times. Look, Mr. Coffee or Coffee or whatever it is your name is, leave my house. I am not interested in this relationship. Don't you get it? Don't you? Please, please. This is my house. I have a right to say who goes and who stays. <laughs> and right now, Kofi is my guest. So he stays. Wow. This is unbelievable. I can't believe you're doing this. Mr. Guest, stay away from me. Warn your guest to avoid me. If I'm coming this way, you move that way. Do not make any eye contact with me whatsoever. Since you want to stay here uninvited, remain here, okay? Nicely, nicely played, Mom. She's, 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 she's angry with me. It's okay. Just, you have to be patient, all right? You have to be patient, okay? I'm coming. Samantha, I understand how you feel. No, Mom, you clearly don't. Because if you do, you will not allow him to stay here. Look, all I'm trying to do is to make sure you don't make mistakes in a hurry. And at the end of the day, you come back regretting it. Can I ask you a question, Mom? All right, darling. If you are in my shoes, will you settle down with him? Would you settle down with a crippled man who lied to you, who deceived you into falling in love with him? Would you settle down with a man that you clearly know will never walk again for the rest of your life? Can you do it, Mom? Is that a lie that you want for your own daughter? Answer me. Samantha, I will settle down with a man that loves and cherishes me as much as I do, or even more, irrespective of how he looks. You're only saying that because of emotional attachment to him. I can't believe you're thinking about a total stranger instead of your own daughter, Mom. For Christ's sake, I am your daughter. Mm. I'm not saying that you must be with him. All I'm saying is, take time. You need to calm down. Try your head before you take a decision like this. It's a lifetime decision. I don't want you to come back regretting it. Please. Well, I have made up my mind. That's fine. Now. I hope you're enjoying this pap. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. It's do, you, do you have it in Ghana? Yeah, in Ghana, you know, this this one we call it um kosi. Okay, you mean the akara? In akara, we call it kosi. Okay. And the pap, we call it koko. Kosi and koko. Yeah, kosi and koko, yeah. Nice. We make this from beans. I hope it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so if I want to eat pap and akara, it will be... Uh, koko and kosi. Can I have koko and kosa? Yeah. <laughs> Baby girl, how are you? Good morning. Um, I, I'm off to work. Do you not having breakfast with us? No, Mom, I'll just grab something on my way to work. All right, have a beautiful day. Thank you, Mom.
है समाधान I notice you read a lot. I actually read too. You know, when I was young, my father would always bring a lot of books, and uh, I would read all of it. It made me gain a lot of uh, knowledge at a younger age. Reading really helps, though. It helps a lot. Samantha, please hear me out. Please. I, I know I couldn't... I couldn't tell you about my condition, okay? Every other thing we had and still have, it's, it's true. Samantha, I love you. Samantha. Let go! I'm going to see us. I must say, the food is so delicious. I'm telling you. Thank you. <laughs> a lot of people actually tell me this. And I'm beginning to think I'm a very fantastic They person. are saying the truth. I'm telling <laughs> you. The food is so delicious. You know, it looks like, it looks like how we cook our jam and stew, but you know, your own, the mess, the stew together. And yeah. All that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's so delicious. <laughs> Oh, tell me, what kind of food do you have in Ghana? Oh, in Ghana, we, we have plenty of food. We have bangu, we have fufu, not, not your fufu. Oh, okay. We have a, we, we also have fufu, but it's different from your fufu. Okay. Yeah, we have ambassy, we have wachi, and of course, our famous jollof rice. Oh, no, 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 Umba. No, I don't agree with you. You do not have jollof rice like it's better than ours. Nigerian mm. jollof is the best. You know why? In fact, first of all, it's so inviting. It's beautiful. The color is so beautiful. Yours is burnt. Like it's black in color. Why is that? Miss Miss Nkoli, you know, if we start this thing, <laughs> we will not end. No, 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 let's talk about it. At least, I mean, I have a Ghanaian before me. Let's talk about it. Miss Miss Nkoli, first of all, our jollof, you guys know that we, our jollof is better. That it's more sweeter. All the people who visited our country, they are all, all saying it. doing here? I came, I came to take water. Do you snow? No, I don't. Oh. You sure about that? Because I heard you snoring. Well, sometimes, but only when I'm tired, that's all. Oh. Only when you're tired. Interesting. Why are you smiling? Nothing. Nothing, you know? What? I haven't seen where a lady snores before. This is your first time. Oh, it's good, you know? It's good for people to snore. I know? don't snore. I, I said I only do when I'm tired. 
No problem. I snow too. I don't want to hear about it. I did not see that coming. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I see you really enjoy yourself. See the way you are smiling all about. What which movie are you watching though? What is wrong with you? Have I not told you to stay away from me? How many times will I say that you don't understand English or should I speak it in Chi before you understand? And bear me. Does that make sense to you? Yes, I'm sure it does. Stay away from me. You have ruined my mood. Are you happy now? Someone. Someone. Ifami Kasa. Ifami Kasa. Asamu. Ay, Asamu. She said, I'm going to catch a case and I'm going to I'm going to Seeing pick up lines all the time. I'm sure you must have met a lot of other women in your life and you use the same compliment on them, right? What <laughs> oh, say? Now you're being a bad teacher. I didn't understand the thing you said. You don't understand all the she. That's true. I said you're so beautiful. And I'm so grateful for coming into my life. Because you put back love into my life. Along with the hope of climbing the highest mountain. I'm in love with you. And anytime I anytime I watch you, I, I can't take my eyes off you. I get stuck. I love you. I can't do without you. You're so beautiful.
Um, you know you don't have to fight these feelings. What are you talking about? What feelings? I was only concerned about him. I haven't seen him all day, so I just decided to come and check if he was okay. Nothing more. You still love him. Hi. What are you doing here? No, nothing. Nothing, you know. I'm just feeling a little bored. You know, ever since I came to this house, I've not... I've not gone out. You know. So? So I was thinking if... we we'll both go out together, somewhere cool, Spend some time together. You and I go out somewhere cool and spend some time together. As what? Hey, hey, Mr. Kofi, I hope you, you're not thinking that we are back together because of what happened the other day. Listen, that doesn't change anything. My decision still remains. No problem. Okay? I just want us to go, to, go out. Well, no, I'm busy. Maybe some other time. Please, please. Okay. Some other time. Please, okay? I know you're listening to me. Please. Please. You're looking so beautiful. Thank you. Hi. Um, so, um, have you decided on what you want to order yet? Um, I think I'm now checking. Let me see. Let me see. Um, we go with we take a banana, banana fried rice. Yes, banana fried rice. I mean, pineapple <laughs> fried rice. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I, I think it sounds delicious. You should try it. Okay. Have you, have you taken it before? No. Okay, then I think I'll go for banana fried rice. Then pineapple fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> your mother will be... Your mother can cook more than this, you know? <laughs> you have not even tried the food, but oh yes, my mom is a good cook. Do you know I've been trying to persuade her for ages to get a small spot, even if you just cook general fries? Seriously, that would be a good business, I'm telling you. <laughs> Your mother can cook very well. So I guess I'll do pineapple fried rice too okay, and okay. orange right. fresh juice. All right. <gasps> what am I seeing? Oh my oh. God, Julie! Samantha! <laughs> Where have you been? Where have you been? It's been like forever. Look at you. Come on, come on, come on. You look so beautiful. Thank you, and you look good yourself. What? What happened? You just disappeared. It's you didn't even keep in contact. I asking you. <laughs> come on, come on. I can't believe I'm seeing you. Like, you have all people. Why didn't you call? Like, you just... You just it's disappeared. Your name is the person. Come on. Come on. It's so good to see you. Same here. Oh, my. You just disappeared. You. No, you disappeared. Okay. <clears throat> Samantha, you know you humiliated me today, right? Uh, uh, your way. Humiliated you how? Don't say how. Don't don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking now. You know what you did. Are you you're so into him talking and behaving like I don't exist, but I was there. You know, what was that? <laughs> Tunde. Tunde is just a friend from uni days. I was only excited to see him. I don't oh, see what the issue is. Oh, so, 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 so you think what you did was right? It, what you did was right? So into him talking, laughing, and all that? Hey, 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 please hold it there. What is the meaning of this? Where is this coming from? 
Why are you acting jealous? The last I checked, we were no longer together. Excuse me. Samantha, we are not done with this. Well, I am done. Samantha. Hey, Emma. Emma. Rume. Were you looking into my phone? No. No, I wasn't. I just came. What do you want? <sighs> Nothing, I'm just... Uh, let me just tell you that I really enjoyed myself the other day. You know, even though somebody tried to cut it short. But yeah, that's just by the way. So I was thinking we go out again, spend some quality time together. So that nobody you will... Let me just a family friend. Please, please, I'm not in the mood for fights now, okay? So want to be... The guy on the chair is just a friend. Yes, the guy on the huge chair is just a friend. Just a friend, Samantha. Just a friend. Just a friend. Coffee there. Is everything all right? You haven't even touched your food. Missing Golly, I'm fine. I'm just not hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I would have to microwave it for you later. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be now. It's okay. What is wrong with him? I don't know. Did you guys have an argument? Mom, I said I don't know. You should know. Kofi is our guest. And hospitality demands that you find out what's wrong with him. That's the least that is expected of you. Samantha, you go on and find out what's wrong with him. That's just coffee being coffee. Nothing is wrong with him. Come in. Hello. Ah, hi, Tunde. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? Nothing, I just wanted to surprise you. Well, you did. Come on in, sit down. All right. <laughs> wow. I love what I'm seeing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so proud of you. <sighs> Thank you. You are doing so well for yourself. <laughs> You're doing well for yourself, too. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So, um, so, what do I owe this visit? Well, nothing much. I just want to know if uh, you'll be free tomorrow so that uh, we can hang out. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> sure, I'll be free. I wouldn't mind at all. For me? Mm-hmm. I like that. <laughs> wow. Wow, so beautiful. Thank you. 
So he asked you out on a date. Not a date, just a simple hangout. Too serious. <laughs> and what did you say to him? I said yes. I mean, I couldn't have said no to him. Babe, don't you think you both are getting a bit closer than you should? Considering the fact he is your ex, those feelings might still be there. Well, Tunde and I are just friends. Yeah. I just enjoy his company, that's all. What of coffee? Honestly, I don't know. I still hate him for what he did. But sometimes I, I find myself loving him again. Is it possible to love someone and hate them at the same time? Me, I don't know. I don't know that one. I've never heard about loving someone and hating them at the same time. It's either you love someone or you hate them. One has to be more. Mm. It's all right. Everything is going to be fine. I'm love I girl. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Let me just run over this report and send it. Shamanda. So why are you going dressed like this? Uh, since when did you become my dad? Shamanda. What? Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Wow, you look so beautiful. Thank you. You look good too. Thank you. So, shall we? Sure. All right. <laughs> wow. Again. You know this guy? They've been calling him Robot Demon. So I, I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, I did. <sighs> Tundi, you are my ex. She. Samantha, I know. Okay? But please, just give us another chance. Just one more chance. Look, ever since, ever since I saw you that day at that restaurant, every single thing about me changed. The feeling, the love, they all came back. See, I know I may not have been a good guy to you then, but look at me, I'm a changed person now. Yes, Samantha, I love you. I've never stopped loving you, and I will never stop loving you. Just one more chance, and I promise you, you will not regret it. And I vow to make you my wife. What? I really appreciate you bringing me out and all. Uh, I enjoyed my stay here and all, but I'm sorry. Our relationship cannot exceed just being friends. I like us like this, and I would like for you to respect that, please. 
Is it because of the crippled guy? He has a name. It's Kofi. You love him, right? I see. You would never pick my call. Well, that's because my phone was on silent mode. Samantha, what was so important that you couldn't pick my call and you put your phone on silence? Stay out of my business, would you? Are you sleeping with him? What did you just say? You heard me. Are you sleeping with him? Are you sleeping with Tunde? <laughs> just look, just look, 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 look at you. When you were going, you had lipstick on your lips. Now I can't see it anymore. It's obvious you slapped it. What? Yes, it's obvious. Because else you, you slapped it. Because from, from, from the bed to the bathroom, on the floor. How dare you? You will not speak to me like that. I will not be disrespected in my own house. What in the world is going on here? What? What is the banter about? The whole neighborhood could hear you, you know. Maybe you should ask that question to your guest. And while you're at it, ask him when he's leaving this house because I'm sick of him. What is the problem? That's why I'm sorry, ma. It's fine. Hey! Um, <clears throat> you're here. Well, I was just coming from your room. I want to apologize for earlier. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Please forgive me. Kofi, are you okay? Kofi. Samantha. It is not me. Hmm? This is not how I was. I had a perfect life. Young, rich, lot of friends, lot of women. One day, that perfect life was taken away from me just like that in a car accident. I was in coma for weeks. I could 
God gave me a second chance. God lost me so much. I came back from coma and the doctor told me that I I had a lot of internal injuries which damaged my spinal cord. He said I might not walk again. My friends, I, I was so lucky, Samantha. I was so, so lucky. So my friends, they died. They died at the spot. They died on the spot. I killed my friends. I killed them. Oh. I killed them all. Oh, don't say that. You didn't kill them. You were all drunk. It's not your fault. Please don't blame yourself, okay? I did. For the past four years, I've been living as a crippled man. Girls don't want to come close to me anymore. I've been lonely. Miserable. But one day I was randomly going through Instagram. I saw this beautiful lady who stunned me by her beauty. It looked so beautiful. Not only that there was just something about you. I felt something strange. Something I had never felt before. So I summoned courage and I sent you a DM. Those moments, those moments were the happiest moment of my life. I was so, so happy. I felt alive once again. I was deeply in love. You know, and I was so scared to, to show you my real self, because I thought if I'd showed you, you would run away from me. That's why I was making up excuses just to buy time. But I guess you were impatient, so I summoned courage. I had faith. Told myself, let me just come to Nigeria and see if the love she was still strong. But I guess it wasn't. It faded away. So what's the point? I can't stay here anymore. I'll be going back to Ghana. I have work to do. I want to go focus on my work. Focus on the things I was doing. So don't worry, I'll be going to Ghana soon. Thank you for everything, Samantha. Thank you for those moments. At least I felt alive again. Thank you. Excuse me. Is this a test? I don't understand. 
I don't even know what is wrong with this our boss. How can he be shouting at me? He asked me to do something. I did exactly the way he asked me to do it. And now he's shouting at me, looking for fault here and there. Samantha. Hello? Are you even listening to me? Samantha! Oh, God. I'm sorry, did you say something? To the phone it was here. I'm sorry. What did you say? What is wrong with you? Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I'm okay. I'm not sure you're fine. I know you too well. Something is bothering you. What is it? Tell me. I'm all here. It's coffee. He's going back to Ghana tomorrow and it makes me really sad. Oh. Kofi told me he's going back to Ghana soon. Um, yes, he told me to. Is that all you have to say? I guess your mind is made up. Kofi is a good man. And I'm sure he loves you. Miss Ngoli, thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate. Thank you for your hospitality. I mean, I'm so grateful for everything. You're like a mother to me. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Kofi, I know things didn't work out between you and my daughter the way it's supposed to, but... You're always going to be my son. Thank you. You're welcome anytime, yeah. Okay? Maybe one of these days I'll come to Ghana. Just to taste one of these foods that you told me about. That would be so, so amazing. Please, my regards to your family. And do take care of yourself. My God will show you how to eat what you <laughs> Yes, whichever one. <laughs> Safe flight, please. All right. Careful. All right. Don't go. So, I don't want you to leave. Please stay. So, I'm so sorry. I was only acting out because I, I was trying to fight my feelings for you. But the truth is, I never stopped loving you. And I've never, I've never grown to love you more now that I've spent some time with you. Kofi, I've fallen in love with the real you. I'm so sorry. It's true that I fell in love with an image of you. And then you showed up here on a wheelchair and that broke my heart. I was angry that you could not even trust me enough to tell me about your condition. 
He didn't give me a chance to love you, regardless of whether you're crippled or not. Do you think that I would not fall in love with you just because you're crippled? Is that the kind of person you think of me? <laughs> <laughs> 